Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Nev from Nez Tech, but today I want to take a look at another cheapo Wi-Fi 6 card. <clears throat> but this time, it's going to be a little bit different. I want to get under that heat shield this time. All of these Wi-Fi cards have the same chip in it, a uh, an Intel AX200, I do believe. And I'm pretty sure it's just a board under that heat shield. All of these things seem to get about exactly the same speed. But, oh, Bluetooth 3.1. Just got to make sure it comes with all the fun stuff it's supposed to. Yep, okay. Huh. Well, that's interesting. The uh, Bluetooth hooks into USB. I'm pretty sure it's not like that on any of the other ones that I got. Now, the first super cheap. Oh, get an extra free gift set. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm, contact for more information. Very nice. Anyways, the first super cheap USB that, or uh, the first super cheap Wi Fi 6 that I got came with the USB drive. That stuff is great for hiding your prawns from your wife. I don't think anyone should need this. I think, yeah, yeah, Intel AX200, just like I said. They're all Intel ATCX200. They all get like a maximum of about. 30 to 60 megabytes transfer okay 30 to 90 megabytes transfer and they all get that and of course they come with uh i really appreciate this actually a little phillips head screw driver you can never have enough phillips head screw drivers <clears throat> and what do we have here the user manual for the bluetooth pcie make it sound like all it is is bluetooth okay yeah yep plug it in and then do stuff that's what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. And now I'm going to get that frickin' heat shield off or break this board trying. Put your bets in the comments. Will I break it? Oh, mon dieu. Guys, I got it open. Let's check that out. I was right. It is just an Intel card, an Intel AX200. That's all it is. That must be all it is under any of these things. So one thing I'm wondering is why they ship laptops out with cards like this that don't have the heat shields on. Is this heat shield just here for the heat, for the electromagnetic discharge perhaps, or for other reasons? I'm not too sure. Okay, so I just had to look online and the sucker goes for about 26 to 30 Canadian rupees, so not all that much considering it's AX technology. This thing can get a maximum of 300 megabytes a second, but Lord knows we'll never get anything like that. I want to do some tests with this thing now that it's out of the shield. Will it keep it cooler? Why was the shield even there in the first place? It's like they didn't even want you to know that this thing was in here to begin with. So all that these Wi-Fi 6 cards are is a piece of silicon with that unit slapped on the inside. Some of them have really, really big heat sinks on it, and some don't so much. But this one uh, was cheaper, uh, about 38 bucks. So I guess that pays for the unit to end the back, about 10 bucks for the back piece. So I hooked this thing up to my i7 that I keep in the back exclusively for backup purposes and uh, this is some b-roll of a uh, video I did testing all of the Wi-Fi at the same time. It has been a while since uh, I shot the video where I took the mask off just to see exactly what it looked like on the inside. And honestly, as a product review, this thing is just as good as any of the other units. However, right now it's not quite as fast as the other units because Wi-Fi AX is on the 5G spectrum, which means that anything will slow it down, especially if you don't have direct line of sight. At this position right here, I got eight megabytes a second, but I do believe that if I hook this thing up to line of sight, the best I would be getting is uh, 30 or 90 depending on if my server is hardwire connected or not. Once again, it is totally cool to finally take the heat shield off one of these things and see what's on the inside. I was thinking there'd be a chip, there'd be a die in there, something that I'd break if I uh, mess with it a little bit too much. But no, this is just, it's a terminal. It's a, it's a pad that you can plug things into, and I bet if I had a small enough SSD card M.2 of some sort that I could plug it into here and get her going. So yeah, really neat really cool if you find it and you're on the budget get it most of these things all seem to be the exact same on the inside but that's interesting i wonder if this kind of situation has happened in previous generations i don't think it has but if i'm wrong and you know please uh leave a comment <laughs> 